welcome back to Vlogmas 17. Yes, it's uh, Friday, December 17, and I wanted to come on and do this. I've kind of been suffering a uh, brutal migraine all day, and I still have a bit of a headache, but I wanted to come on and do my Vlogmas, so it's not going to be very long, but we'll get right into it because Max is here wanting his treats. So let's do the advent calendars first. So we're going to do the dogs. I thought it was a bigger box than what it was. And I went and got their, um, their bacon strips. So we're going into 17 here. And like I said, they're going to get their bacon strips tonight. I was going to give one to Max now. So he quiets down for us. Here you go, mister. You're only getting a little bit. There you go till the girls get the rest of theirs. All right, and uh, we're going to go to my Star Wars, The Mandalorian, and we're going to look for number 17. Where is 17? Oh, my. Yeah, I've been sitting with sunglasses on all day and, like, in the dark. I don't want bright lights, and now I'm sitting in here with a ring light on me and the light's on. Anyways, here we go. There's 17's right there where his eye is. Open up 17. And 17 is the child again. So that's the chocolate of the day. Just a minute, Max. You're going to have to wait. Going to have to wait till Mama's done. And we're going to do the 24 days to celebrate my scratch lottery ticket. And we're looking for 17. 17 is right there. We're gonna peel that one back. 17, and it's a red scratch area. So we shall scratch this area. Alrighty. So let's just give this a shake here. So we got. A fifty thousand, a one thousand, a forty dollars, and a turkey. So it's right there where my finger is. And I believe, yes, we had a turkey before. So if I get three turkeys, uh, the prize will be two hundred dollars. So we're gonna put a seventeen in where the turkey is. So I put it right there. So one more turkey. Woo! I just dropped their advent calendar. I'll be right back because Max will steal all the treats if I don't go get it now. Alrighty, I'm back. So that's the advent calendars done. And uh, my husband come home and surprised me with a couple of little prezzies. So I asked him, he was in the States, and I asked him to pick me up some, uh, a couple of things that I know you can get in Walmart down there. So he got me a couple of extra things on top of it. So that's what I'm going to share tonight and kind of keep the vlog uh, smacks. Try to keep it a little short here so I can go sit in a dark room again. But anyway, I asked him to pick up some of the Tetley British Blend uh, tea. We can't get this here in Canada. And I have been buying the bold Tetley tea, but this is really good tea. Really love this one. So it's too bad that we can't buy it here in Canada. And if any of you have seen it in Canada, please let me know where. And it does come into uh, the fresh seal bags, which is really nice. So you only have to open one at a time. It does have 80 tea bags in it. Now, I don't know the price that he paid, but it's normally, it is normally around $4.50 um, for one of these in U.S. dollars. So he went and picked up four because three are for me and we always give grandma one. So grandma's getting one in her uh, Christmas basket that I'm making up for her. So this was a request, was my tea bags. My other request was uh, the Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter, and I do like the unsalted one. It does come from Ireland. Uh, we cannot get this here, I don't believe. So, and, it's, it, and it is always cheaper at the Walmarts down in the States. 
it's funny that the Americans love all our Irish food. So it is imported from Ireland. So uh, he bought me two of my butter. So this is a, a purchase we always make from down there. And that was all I requested. And then he surprised me with some, some little uh, elf on the shelf Christmas cakes. And they look cute. So it does say that the, uh, it's a four grab and go pack. Your scout elf can write a message. So I guess it's to send, send with the kids to school, right? For their lunch, for a snack. I'm just gonna open them up and see what they look like. Oh yeah, you can't even see them. They're, <laughs> they're wrapped like this. So there's two cakes in it. And you can, uh, yeah, write a little message on them. So that's what I got, was little cakes. And then he uh, he knows how much I love the red truck. So he found these tin of cookies. So he brought me this one. And it's just those uh, sugar cookies, butter cookies. It says Sam's Choice Butter Cookies. Best uh, used before 12 18 2022 20, so they're good for a year so he brought me this one and this one so after we eat the cookies inside then I'll definitely be keeping these tins and they're just got a nice little pattern around them does this one have the same best before yeah 12 18 2022 20, so those are cute aren't they and the other little gift he brought me was from uh, Hillshire Farms and it's a signature collection happy holidays meat and cheese set so there is a cheddar cheese a Swiss cheese two summer sausage a package of wheat crackers lightly salted and a Bavarian mustard so this is what he brought so that'll be nice to make a little charcuterie board over the holidays and it is good. I did see a date on it and now I see it. Don't see it. Now, I asked him, was this refrigerated when you bought it, like in the box? And he said, no, it was sitting out on the shelf, which is kind of weird for cheese, right? And meat. But it does say best by February 15, 2022. Do not store near heat. Food product of USA. And I did read on it, uh, it does not need to be refrigerated until opened. So, yeah. So it's two fi five ounce summer sausage. They're both the same. And then I like that I get a Swiss and a cheddar cheese in it. And I'm not a big mustard fan, so he can have the mustard in it. So that's what he brought for me, which I thought was kind of sweet of him to think about me. Yeah, now he did pick up two other things and I might as well show them to you. The one is hilarious and I couldn't stop laughing, but I'll tell you the little story about that in a minute. So he picked up this because we need to uh, we need to change our ampage um, at our trailer. So we're going from 30 amp to 50 amp. And so he was able to buy this heavy duty uh, plug and fingers crossed that it works because uh, we asked an electrician to give us a quote on upgrading our uh, our breaker box and he quoted over $2,000. This was $30. So if this works and we may need to buy an extension to, that we can plug that into to run over, uh, then we've just saved ourselves a lot of money. So fingers crossed that this works. So the other thing, he sends me this photo and it was a, a toilet plunger and it looks like a big shotgun. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's definitely something I could see you buying. Well, yes, he bought it. So he actually bought it in Canada. He was in the Sault Ste. Marie and he walked from the truck stop up to the store, purchased this. And he said, I walked down the street with it and people were stopping and looking at me. And I was like, you walked down the street with that? I said, you're lucky nobody called the police on you. And then he says, I walked through the truck stop and all the truckers were sitting in their driver's seats and they looked terrified. And I said, well, yeah, 
some crazy guy walking around with a shotgun. And this is what I am talking about. It is hilarious. Look at this. And it says, the poo is through a redneck plunger. <laughs> Can you imagine him walking down the street with this? And not one person called the police on him. Not one. Crazy guy. Anyway, you, you actually pull the trigger and it, uh, <coughs> it makes a noise. <laughs> it's just a novelty thing, eh? But oh my goodness. Oh, oh yeah, it, it moves and everything. Like, oh my goodness. What a crazy husband I have. So that was a little novelty thing he bought for us. And that, my friends, is the end of this video. Uh, like I said, I had a really bad migraine today. It is easing off, but I do want to go back and lay down. So I hope you're all well. It is Friday night, so I wish everybody a happy and safe weekend. I know a lot of people do get together with family the weekend before Christmas. So if you're doing that, enjoy and embrace every moment with your family and friends. And if you're not catching up until Monday, uh, I will be back for Saturday and Sunday. And I, I plan on doing a Vlogmas every day until Christmas Eve. So you can always uh, catch up on them next week if you are going to have a busy weekend. So everybody, take care. Be safe, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.